just tried to make some copies and the copier is broken. So I don't have time to go to another copier because there's one upstairs and then one like on first grade hallway, which is too far for me to go with only four minutes till my kids get here. So happy Thursday to you guys. Um, I had to go down to our professional library when I got here and get this book, Sounds All Around. I am starting a unit on sound today. I can't get this bag open because my fingernails, oh y'all, I've got to quit buying my fingernails. But anyways, it sounds all around, so I'm going to start my sound unit with this. I need to make copies of my uh, word work packets, um, and the copier's broke. I also need to make copies of this for my whole group today. We're starting the book, The Fire Cat. And so we're going to start with some vocabulary. They're going to find nouns and then some story elements. So we're doing that for my whole group today, which I need copies of and the copiers broke. <laughs> and then I have this book that I don't know who let me borrow it, but I made it a while back when I taught third grade, I guess six or seven years ago. And I was going to go through here and find some things for uh, my high group to do during read to self and get my um, assistant to copy it. But I'm going to have kids in about two minutes, so I'm going to jump off here so I can check homework when they come in, and I will touch base with y'all later. This is what my table looks like after the morning. This is what my other table looks like and my counter with some money on it. Oh, I just served my kids nachos in the lunchroom again and it is just absolutely ridiculous. I know I say that every time, but it just is and it just blows my mind that the cafeteria ladies don't do it. But anyways, um, we did our rotations this morning and we did a new game. We played a new group activity this morning called Alibi. And it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll see if I can do my best. So I pick one student to go out into the hallway and they are the detective. And then I pick a gremlin who's in the classroom and they move something in the room so that it's out of place. And then I pick a spokesperson and the spokesperson tells the detective when they come in what's out of place if they can't, if they don't notice. And then the detective asks, Okay, so while the detective's in the hall, everybody comes up with an alibi. And so, like, if the desk was moved, then the detective would say to everyone, where were you when the desk was moved? And so they have to come up with an alibi. Like, oh, well, I was taking a nap. Or, oh, I was reading a book. Or, oh, I was playing my Xbox. And so then the gremlin who actually moved the desk has to come up with two alibis because the detective asks everyone twice and then the second time they ask the gremlin changes their alibi and so then the detective has to find out who the gremlin is and they get three chances and then if they don't get it then the spokesperson gets to tell them who it was but we played it this morning it took forever but it was since it was the first day it you know took some time to teach and talk about and practice and they seem to really like it. So we might do that again tomorrow. But I am gonna run and get a bite to eat. And when my kids get back, I'm gonna read them that book I showed you this morning, Sounds All Around, for our um, sound unit that we're starting today. So, pretty good day so far. I can't complain. I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna say words. I hate babies when they cry and people screaming at my ear and I like playing guitars and I like playing piano but I like the music of it. So you like the sound of guitars and pianos. And I don't like And you don't like the sound of babies crying and what else? Kids screaming in your ears. Oh. Okay. I don't like the I like the sounds that when when my dad comes home uh, from work and his toddler, I like that because usually after dinner we play Uno, then uh, the sound I don't like is my baby brother screaming and and my ba and my brother telling me what to do. It's sound waves hit a barn. The sound bounces back. 
and the echoes warn the bat to change direction before it bumps into it's the echo ball. location. Yes, it is. The feel vibrations on the ground, like if you were walking to it, it would be able to feel that. Yeah. And then be able Unless to get out of the way. I almost I almost stepped on one. Well, my kids are all gone home and I have been organizing and doing some straightening around here because this place is like a total mess. And um, I was getting my morning tubs together. So as soon as I get those all finalized, I will show you guys my morning tubs and just kind of organizing and moving things around because I have groups so often, like math groups or lip block groups and I use baskets for stuff, and so I hadn't really straightened those up or cleaned them out recently. So, um, they are calling for winter weather tonight and some snow in the morning, so who knows if we'll even be here tomorrow. But I'm going to stuff report cards because I haven't done that yet. I need to work on my newsletter because I haven't done that yet, and tomorrow's Friday. I need to return my laptop to the library because she needs them by tomorrow. I might just wait and have a kid take them in the morning or I could take them in the morning. I need to make a few copies, but our copier is still broke. So I'm making a pile of things I need copied. And I need to go through their word work folders from today. So it looks like I'm gonna be here for a little while. Today was a pretty good day for the most part. Um, I'm having, I'm, I'm noticing that I'm having to keep my kids completely engaged with things that they enjoy doing but are still learning opportunities because they are just like crazy. I don't know if it's the moon or the weather or what. Oh, and I told them not to put their chairs up today so I could clean desks because we've had a lot of sickness. I definitely need to do my report cards because those have to go home tomorrow if we have school. So that is where I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna do that and straighten up a little bit. I need to put their chairs up before I leave and then head on home. So I'll catch you guys then. I just remembered that I need to print out their M class reports. I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna print those out real quick and then those also have to go in their report cards. But I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing today. So I got this dress, which is actually a shift dress from Old Navy. I actually got it in the mail yesterday and it was only $19. It's really soft and comfy. And I just wore some black leggings and black boots, like knee boots. And I love the mustard color. It's just so cute and flowy. But I ordered, I placed an order on Old Navy the other day and I got two sweaters, this dress, three, no, yeah, three shirts, for Paisley and a pair of like um, running pants, like the stretchy, I don't know what they're called. They're not really leggings, they're like workout pants for her. And it was like $56 and I didn't have to pay shipping because it was over 50, but I thought that was really good. Like I got two shirts, a dress, and she got three shirts and a pair of pants. So this was one of the dresses and it came in the mail yesterday. I've got my computer ready here. I'm going to print my M-Class reports and then I will start stuffing my report cards. 